This video is sponsored by PickersGrip.com. All right, folks. Welcome back to the host that never sleeps, and welcome back to another quick clip tips, or a tip rather for you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you something that no one hardly thinks about, no one on YouTube or Google hardly searches for, and it's a very dangerous thing for your guitar. And that is playing venues outdoors, especially in the summer months and like in the summertime. Have you ever been playing, I don't care if it's electric or acoustic, probably more so on acoustic guitars, but this affects electric guitars too. Playing outdoors in the summertime, sometimes you got to play with the sun barreling right in on you. Usually it's late in the day and the sun's low in the sky and the heat, the light from the sun's coming right in on the top of your guitar on the face of it. This is very bad. They get very hot. If you've ever done that, you know what I'm talking about. You've felt them before, and you know what I'm talking about. You know where I'm going with this. Uh, let's look at acoustic guitars first, because that's the ones that's going to probably suffer from it the most. Acoustic guitars. You got 120, 180 pounds of string stress on that bridge and on that top back here pulling all the time okay you're standing there playing the sun's coming in maybe it's coming at an angle one way or the other or maybe it's straight out in front of you and coming right straight in on it your guitar is going to get hot it's happened to me a lot of times your guitar is going to get hot 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 if it's direct sunlight this is very bad for glue joints it's bad for the entire guitar and imagine while it's working on those glue joints that stress is still right there you know I mean it's pulling you got the stress there and then you got the heat there to soften the glue up and uh, you know it's people do it all the time they have for years that's why I get so many guitars to work on <laughs> they don't realize you know that they're doing it you probably never thought of this because like I say it's not been searched for very much uh, but you take all that stress on the guitar and then some you know making it hot like that that's doing damage every second you're standing here to those glue joints every glue joint that you know well not everyone but the ones you know under the top near the front or the neck and there again like electric guitars some of them have uh, set necks and through necks and you know it's not a bolt or screw on neck it probably wouldn't affect it you know but I'm talking about necks that are glued on to electric guitars It'll affect them, man. Over time, keep doing it, keep doing it, and keep doing it. I guarantee you, you're going to suffer from it. Eventually, it's going to affect your guitar. Uh, acoustics more so than uh, electric guitars. But uh, electric guitars usually they don't have that much stress on them. But they do have some stress. Most people who play them play, you know, extra light strings or, you know, hardly ever over medium gauge. Or there's a few guys that goes pretty heavy with them, but. Most of the time, they have lighter gauge strings on them than what you might have on an acoustic guitar. But still, you got the stress there all the time. The sun coming in on you. We played a show one time, a festival. It was a festival outdoors. And just like I was talking, when the sun started going down, which is usually when you play, it was right in front of us, man. And it was so hot on my guitar, I could feel it. And I was thinking, you know, this is not good. <laughs> But, you know, what are you going to do? You stand there in front of a crowd, you're getting paid to do it, or you're contracted to do it, and you got to stand there and do it. In spite of what you know is happening to your guitar, you know, right then, at the moment. So, that's a quick clip tip I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, electric guitar is probably the only thing that would really damage would be, you know, the, like I said, the neck joint. But it can damage the finish on them too because what it does is heat that wood up the wood gets hot and changes probably is going to shrink faster than the uh, finish can or the finish is going to get soft you know and this thing's moving then your braces you know your neck move or your brace on a acoustic guitar you got all kind of braces on that top usually you got your X brace then you got uh, or you got fan bracing or ladder bracing whatever it is uh, but X brace, for instance, usually you have that, and then you have some voicing bars down here, uh, back in the back of it, and then you have these little finger braces, you know, around different places inside of an acoustic guitar. Wow, can't talk. But uh, yeah, all those braces 
under string stress is bad enough. And then when you heat that top so hot that you can lay your arm on it and it's hot to get the touch, hot to the touch rather, uh, you know, that's moving those braces around in there. And like I say, people do it all the time. They get by with it. It's not going to probably pull your guitar apart the first time you do it or the first ten times that you do it. But keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing it and watch what happens. I'm telling you, man. The stress on that guitar pulling it and the heat and the glue, that's not a good combination, those three things. You know, to be happening at the same time. And then you throw the finish into the mix, too. Probably the wood is going to shrink if it moves any at all. Unless a glue joint, you know, failing is a totally different thing. The heat probably is going to dry the guitar out to some degree, and the wood's going to shrink to some degree. The finish is heated up, too, so who knows whether it's going to shrink or just shatter, you know, when the wood changes. There's a whole lot of factors there that are, that are un unexplained, I don't fall down here, I'll tell you, <laughs> a whole lot of factors that are unexplained, like I say, I, you can look at, on Google, if you know how to do that, you can tell what people have searched for on there by typing in certain things, same thing on YouTube, you can tell, and I, I was surprised that hardly no one had searched for this, you know, happening, and that's why I didn't go to too much problem, or I'm not going to go to too much problem putting a name on this video, because Nobody searches for this, you know, or I couldn't find where anybody searched for it, and I'm pretty good, you know, doing that. Anyways, I wanted to share it with you guys, tell you about it. If you play uh, outdoor venues in the summertime, well, you know, cold weather is bad enough on an instrument. I mean, I've, I've played when it was so cold before, your fingers won't hardly move, man. Just, you can see your breath, and just horrible. I'll tell you what, we played one uh, festival, it was a bluegrass festival. They actually built fires up out in the audience, you know, and was sitting around those fires and wrapped in blankets and stuff. It was so cold. We couldn't wrap in blankets. Of course, we had wore heavy clothes, but we still had to get up there and play. Anyways, that's beside the point. We're talking about, uh, what was we talking about? Oh, yeah. Heat on your guitar. The sunlight, the direct sunlight. That'll, even that's bad. I mean, it'll fade your guitar. Uh, I worked on a guitar here one time. I think it was Yamaha. Yamaha. It was an acoustic guitar. And it had a sticker on the front of it. And uh, the guy wanted me to remove the sticker. He was afraid of pulling the finish off of it. Or, you know, something happened to the finish if he tried to get it off. And that, it, it was in to have set up or loose brace or something. I can't remember what it was here for. But he said, while you got it there, take that sticker off the top of the guitar. And I said, okay, I can get it off. So I did. I took it off. And right where that sticker was at, you should have left it on there. Because right where the sticker was at, it was very bright. And the rest of the guitar was really, really dark. It wasn't dirty because I polished the whole thing, buffed it and everything. I had a buffer then. That's before my buffer motor fried. But it was from sunlight. It took me a while to think about that and figure out why is this guitar a totally different color under where that sticker was and the rest of the top. It was from sunlight, man. And I asked him, I said, do you play outdoors very much? Oh, yeah, you go you goes to festivals everywhere. And a lot of me just goes and jams with people, but I said, that guitar's seen a lot of sunlight. Yeah, yeah, been outside a lot, he told me. So there, you know it, I know it changes the color of your guitar. Now, if it's painted, I don't know about this. This didn't have any, this didn't have any paint on it. It was just, uh, I think it was a cedar top with just a clear coat on it, I think, if I remember right. Anyways. Be careful if you're playing out in direct sunlight, especially when it's hitting your instrument. Bear this in mind, you've got a lot of glue joints there, and glue gets soft. We all know when it gets hot, it gets soft, and you've got that string stress pulling all the time. And uh, while your guitar is heating up, the stress continues to pull, and something's going to give. If you keep doing it, if you keep doing it, and keep doing it over time, or it might do it the first time if your guitar is poorly made or has a bad glue joint that's not really glued properly. It could happen the very first time you take it out in the sunlight if you're out there long enough. And it might not have to be there very long if those are the conditions. But I wanted to throw that at you and share it with you <laughs> and uh, give you something to think about anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Oh yeah, I want you to visit uh, pickersgrip.com. You need to visit that site. I'll put a link to it down here. 
they have several nice products this is a I'll show this one to you I showed this before well no I showed it whenever I received it I think that's when I showed it I don't know how to get it open I don't have glasses I see it I think yeah there we go oh it is comes with a nice little carrying case there as you see is this stuff I want to say it's wax but it's, I don't think it's wax and what you do is you take your pick and just rub your pick on it like so you can rub both sides of the pick turn it over you don't have to believe me I've used this stuff quite a lot and look how that pick sticks to it wow anyways you rub your pick on that and like I say you can do both sides if you want to but you don't have to I don't have to I can just do one side and I can't throw the pick down man you can't let go of it if your pick turns sideways when you play or turn around backwards mine used to do that all the time if you have that problem you gotta try this product like I say they're sponsoring this video I hope the video helps you and I'm sure this will help you and they have some other products too we'll talk about in other videos but head on over there there's a close-up shot I doubt it's probably blowed out pickersgrip.com is what it says no it just says pickers grip but go to pickersgrip.com check this item out and there are other products and I think you'll be a very happy camper if you try this thanks for watching cheers to you and I'll see you on a new video pretty soon probably on this neck here I'm still working on it doing the frets on it right now and then I got to put the back bow back into it and uh, send it on its way thanks for watching cheers see you soon